Mud players, let's play some pickleball. Zero, zero. I'll tell you, Rusty, this has the makings of a classic final match here with Tyson McGuffin and Kyle Yates. We know they've met several times here in major championships. Right off the bat, Kyle between Tyson, the legs. Tyson's had his number in the past. Thank you, side out. So I don't know if our camera caught that, guys, but I think the second hit of the game, Kyle hit a between the leg shot, and I'm here. It's Rusty from Pickleball Channel with Dave Weinbach. We're at the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships coming to you zero, live zero. in the men's singles pro match. Scores, Great to be with you, Rusty. Thank you, sir. Score zero, zero. Excellent volley by Side Yates. Out. See how deep he got that volley? That makes that shot so much harder for Tyson when you get those volleys deep zero, like zero. that. Into the net. One of the things you're going to notice different from some of the other games we saw, both of these guys are going to be coming to the, to the net faster, and you're going to have both of them up at the non zero, zero. line much more than some of the other matches. See how deep Tyson gets that serve? That's such a huge key in singles, guys, Point. is the depth of the serve and also the depth of the return. Because the deeper you get the return of serve, the harder the One passing zero. shot becomes for the server. So one zero. See how deep Kyle got that mm. return? Point. That's two high forehands that Yates has missed here early in this match, Rusty, and it tells me he's probably a little bit tight, a little right, bit nervous. Right. It's a big match, the gold medal match two here. Zero. Side comes back. Excellent backhand volley there by Yates for the winner. Zero two. Zero two. Side out. Here we go side out. For those of you who aren't familiar in pickleball, you only score when you're serving. So that there is a side out. The serve comes back to Tyson. Two zero. Scores two zero. McGuffin has such a heavy deep serve, Rusty. It puts a lot of pressure Thank you. on your opponent. We you can out. get the pace that he generates along with the depth that he generates. It makes the return Zero, a lot tougher to get deep, and that makes Tyson's third shot, the passing shot, easier. Thank you. Side out. Kyle lifting his head up, a little bit frustrated with himself. Going back through a mental practice of that stroke. That last one was a little bit deep there. It is humid here in Florida, but it's actually pretty mild. It's pretty nice. Thank you. Point. We saw there that Yates tries to hit the return deep to the MacGuffin backhand, and Tyson likes to run around that backhand and hit that inside-out forehand like that, which is extremely good at. It's very difficult to defend that. That's going to go Thank wide. Thank you. Yeah. Point. Kyle got his paddle on it, tried to go sharp cross court, just a little bit too wide. These two players, Rusty, cover the court better than any two players we have in the game. It's no coincidence they are meeting here in the gold medal match here at the Minto U.S. Open. Second right there, quick volley up in the net, both Side out. and forth. Another display of the tremendously quick hands that both these players have. It's not just that their hands are super quick, it's their anticipation Zero of where four. the ball is going to be. And like you said, they're covering the court. You're going to be hearing some sneakers squeaking and people running left and right. Even just a few years ago, singles wasn't played this intensely. Side out. McGuffin had control over that point the whole, the whole time there. So recently, if you're not aware, Tyson was the Nationals champion at the USA Nationals. And then he had a rematch against the silver medalist, Ben Johns, a few weeks ago in Palm Desert and won there again. So he's got some momentum definitely on the top level singles games. Oh. Great backhand volley by Yates. And it had spin, spinning away from McGuffin and he just couldn't catch up to it. Side out. All right, side out. Zero Yates. four. Oh four. See if he can get on the board here. Exactly. Tyson's up in the net, keeping Kyle back on the defensive a little. Kyle comes up. Oh. He pulls him to the left. Side out. Kyle tries to go across. Tyson just gets it, puts it in the open court. For our viewers out there, uh, it's getting windy today, and just so you know, Yates is playing downwind in the MacGuffin. So that's so important in singles, even more than doubles, because it's very, very difficult to pass Point. 
into the wind because the wind slows the ball down. It gives the player at the net more time. Although that was an unbelievable forehand cross court pass by McGuffin. 5 0. Thank you. That looked a little deep. I think the players are settling in here, Rusty, and yep. uh, really looking to execute at a very high level. So when you, these two athletes, when they play against each other, they know they have to bring their A game because there's not going to be any freebies. They're going to have to earn every point. So Kyle's controlling it at this point. Tyson's running He around. didn't do enough with that ball. Oh, there you go. Got, a, out. got away with it. So catching you up, once again, if you're just joining us, we're the Minto US Open Pickleball Championships. The score zero is 0-6. Zero six. Kyle Yates serving, Tyson McGuffin returning. There you go, right. Kyle's got his first point on the board. The important thing there is that Yates got that ball down. He made Tyson have to lift One that six. volley. We always want to make our opponent have to lift the ball in pickleball. Oh, he got to that ball Thank late. You. And that volley went wide because yep. Tyson got it late, got a little behind his body. So Kyle Yates in the white cap and the gray shorts. Tyson has his cap on backwards, the red shirt, and the black shorts. Yep. Just catches right in, the corner. Right in the corner. Right right nice shot. It. Cloud showing some appreciation with the applause there. Again, folks, one of the real keys to singles is the depth that you get the ball. Three, six. The serve and the return. Keep an eye on that as Let's. you watch this match develop. So let ball, Kyle served. When it hits the net, he gets another chance. Uh, it looks and, like there uh, might be Yates a crack in the ball. ball is broke. So both of these guys hitting the ball significantly hard. And even though it's warm, uh, the ball got cracked. And we got a brand new Dura 40 ball coming out onto the court. Kyle Yates is serving to Tyson McGuffin. 3-6. Scores 3-6. Thank and it looks you. just a little bit too deep. Kyle's been hitting most of his serves so far uh, not quite so deep. Tyson's been hitting a little bit of deeper serve. Looks like Kyle might have tried to go a little deeper and just a little too much. He, he thought that ball was a little too lively. Probably it was a brand new Dura, so they're going to go to this ball, and McGuffin's going to be serving to Yates now. Into the wind. 6-3. Right. And would you rather hit? Well, it looks like the flags might have shifted. The wind might be at his back right In now. In singles, I want to play downwind. In doubles, I like to play Look into the back wind. Back and forth. Mm. Did he catch that? Point. Yeah? Yes. Yep, that ball got down. The reason in singles that I prefer to play downwind is it's an easier passing Seven, shot. And if you can get the ball deep to your opponent and they're hitting the ball into the wind, it gives you more time to react to the shot. The ball stays in the air longer. So, Tyson pumping his fist a little bit. So I, I think if the Eight, McGuffin can win game one, Serving into the wind, that's going to be a real competitive advantage for him in this two. match. Right, He's going to get here. Cross. Kyle trying to pull him back and forth, running and sliding. Holy cow. Look at this court coverage, it's unbelievable. Oh! Oh! Big fist pump there. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, the athleticism, both of these guys, back and forth, left to right, sneakers squeaking. It's uh, some impressive pickleball here today. He, he knows how big that point was. That's a huge momentum. It's not on camera there, but a big sigh. 9-3. Tyson serving 9-3. At this point, Kyle's got to do something to turn it around. And there you go. Side out. And the key there, folks, was the first volley that he got deep in the court. That put McGuffin really on the defensive. And then he pulled him back Three, aside. Nine. Three serving nine. Oh, Got it. There you go, right in the Point. corner. Folks, some of the real keys out there, if you play singles, on getting that volley deep is to make sure that number one, you're all the way at the kitchen line, you're leaning forward, and when you make contact with the ball, you want to get the ball okay. way in front of your body Point. and punch it, not only with your paddle, but also get your upper body moving forward into the ball. And that's two in a row that Kyle, Kyle pulled that to the side. First time we got two out. points in a row against Tyson. We're going to go to a timeout and we'll be back soon. Okay, we're Set. back from the timeout. Set. Five, nine. Kyle serving, five, nine. Mm, a little side wide. Side out. 
So uh, timeout worked in Tyson's favor there. A special shout out to our referee, Marcy Merman, tonight, who has been doing a great job all day today. We really appreciate that great effort exactly. that the referees make in these tournaments. We couldn't do it, Rusty, without these referees. Absolutely, absolutely. The sport's still young. We have so many volunteer refs, and uh, we try to give them little thank yous. That ball was in a terrific backhand volley deep in the corner. So that timeout seemed to work for Tyson. You know, Kyle got a few points in a row. Tyson Ten called five. a timeout, and Ten then he five. got a side out. This could be the game. Great deep return oh. by Yates. Yes. That puts so much pressure on the server when you can get the ball deep like that, and he's downwind. It's a big side out for Kyle. He has a chance to stay in it here. Scores 5-10. 5-10. Oh, a little well, he's long. Too greedy. You know, one of the things we talk about, Rusty, when we talk about teaching the serve in the return, my number one rule is don't get greedy. 10 5. Chance to win the game right here 10 5. Oh. And there's game one. Game one to Tyson McGuffin. Stay tuned. We'll come back for game number two. We're going to mute the audio. We'll be back with you soon. Ready? Game number two. For those zero, watching, zero. Tyson's got the first game under his belt. The beginning. Five. Scores zero zero. Oh. Side oh, wow. out. I think he forgot he was downwind. So zero, McDuffin zero. is a serving very strong serve. Wind, and it really swirls in here. So you always have to be aware of what the wind is doing. A terrific inside outside forehand from Yates. A shot that has really developed over the last year. Tell folks real quick. Inside out. One zero. What's that mean? Inside out is when you come from the inside. And then fell through on the outside. Oh, interesting. Oh, almost got it. Side out. So Kyle running to get that shot. It might have been out of frame. He turned around and hit it from behind mm -hmm. the back to try to stay in it, but uh, Zero didn't one. quite work. So I think Tyson's not going to get too aggressive on this serve. Yep. <laughs> he realizes more now modest. that he's downwind. And you can't get greedy, especially when you're downwind on a serve point or the return of serve. So we're looking to get depth in the last out of the court, but we're not getting greedy. And there's a difference. And be careful with that wind. One, one. So the wind's picking up a little bit. It's at Tyson's back. And then a short return from Yates. We got away with go. it. Got away with it. Side out. Kyle now with returning his serve into the wind has got to give it a little bit more and Oof. get some more depth. It put one, more one. pressure on Tyson. So we're already starting off with a more even game than last time. Another ball that is sailing is that long. Call? It was long. I think Tyson is a, underestimating the, the, wind the wind that's at his wind. back. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, you can't quite see it here, but the, the winds on the back court are flapping quite a bit. There's a much more conservative return. Mm. Side out. Very good volleys by McGuffin. You know, both yep. these players, as you probably can tell, the viewers can tell, were terrific tennis players. Yeah. And that translates extremely well to the singles game in pickleball. Exactly. Because in singles, the emphasis is on serve, return of serve, passing shots, One, and two. volleys. And those are the key shots in the game of tennis as well. Whereas doubles, the emphasis is more on some of the soft shots, like the third oh, shot drop right. and the dinking. Exactly. And you just saw some of that there. So Tyson definitely is hitting a little shorter than he was last time. He doesn't want to risk throwing those serves away. 2 1. And By the way, both these players are excellent table tennis players as well, which won't surprise anybody. Did not know that. Oh, we like to have fun on the table tennis court late at oh. night. Us pickleball players. I think just there, Kyle thought Tyson was going back cross court, and last minute he held it, went down the line, and Kyle wasn't able to get it. Point. Three, one. So we're in game number two. The scores. Uh, hang on. We are at three. Correct. Sorry. Two one. Correction two, one. to the score. Tyson serving. The score is. Oh, now people are saying no. Correct. One, one two. serving two. Well, good return. That ball stayed really low. Side out. Uh, just missed the corner a little long. So, a change of pace here. Uh, Kyle is up two, in game number two. Two to one. Tried Side to hit out. a strong return from the baseline driving, but it went into the net there. An another example of when you get the return deep to the server's one, backhand, it puts so much pressure on his passing shots, you singles players. Point. 
return those balls deep. It doesn't always have to be to the backhand. You don't want to become a predictable pickleball player, but I would say 70% minimum. Right, so go to the back. We're tied up now at 2-2. Two, two. Uh, Point. You see how that Kyle ball tried got to drop behind? That. Yep. Kyle, when we hit that volley, guys, we always want to make contact with us in front of our body, what three, I call two. the impact zone. Scores three, serving two. Now it's going to sail way long. Side out. That ball rolled right under our table here. We passed it back. So, it's an important three. thing there. Kyle was going to hit and he pulled back. Sometimes the ball you don't hit is just as important as the ball you hit. Mm. What a terrific return by Side Ty out. there. See how deep he got that ball? And he's downwind, and that just makes it very, very, very difficult for Yates to pass him outright because the wind slows the ball down enough and Tyson covers the court so well. 3-2. That's going to be the thing to watch in game two here, Rusty. Point. Uh, it just sailed long. Kyle was hoping the wind would knock that ball down. So thank you everybody for watching online. We're glad that you like the new coverage. We're in game number two. The score is 4-2 of the men's pro singles. Point. Tyson McGuffin in the red shirt versus Kyle Yates in the white gray. Kyle Yates. Another missed uh, easy backhand volley. I think Yates would like to have that one back. Yeah, you can see the expression on his face there. Oh, it's gonna come over. Kyle gets it. Oh! Oh no! Oh, everyone's okay. Everyone's okay. Couldn't call it out, could Time out. We call that a lap shot. First All right. One. So Kyle, if you didn't see it, he kind of was going after that ball. Kind of fell into the line judge. Tyson's now leading the game. He won game number one. Score six two. The score is six two. Ball says a little Side wide. Up. I think Kyle's a little relieved at that. Kyle's looking a little bit more intense. Two, so you've played six. with him as your partner. Does a little bit of the uh, intensity help his game? Oh, absolutely. I would say. Oh, there you go. what a phenomenal forehand pass. There you go. Yeah, sometimes you need to get a little bit angry. I would say both of these players are, are two of the most competitive individuals you're ever going to meet in your life. And I don't care if it's pickleball, tiddlywinks, cards, or tennis. They want to not only beat you, they want to Point. destroy you. And that's what makes them so <laughs> successful. Not only do they, they, they want it bad, they're so highly driven. And that's why four, these guys have six. the record that they do. So Kyle's serving 4-6. You can't teach that, Rusty. Either people have that, oh. or you don't that intense drive to be successful. And so Kyle's got a few points in a row here. And I think that'll take both these people uh, far in life, not just on the court, but off the court. So. Five, six. Kyle Yates serving five, six. He's making a comeback. Five. Oh, just made it over the net. Uh, a little very, bit short. Very upset that he did not give enough respect to that net. R E S P E C T. So, because the ball did not clear the kitchen, it's a fault and a loss of the serve. If it had six, five. gone farther, he would have had a second chance. So, serves back to Tyson, 6 5. Oh, he's going to get this. Oh, he's moving. Look at the court coverage. Oh, oh fantastic. Unbelievable. Court Yes, Tyson moving from one side to the other side. He almost got it again. Six. You saw just the tremendous hands that Kyle has. Point. He's one of the best volleyers that we have in the entire game. He just has a terrific pair of hands, both forehand and six, backhand. Six. Nobody right. controls the ball, uh, in my opinion, better than he does off the volley. Tyus six six. Now Tyson's got Kyle on the run a little. Oh! Tyson tried to get a little fancy with a fake. And you know what? Let the ball bounce and hit it. What into Kyle the just did there is something that new that we're seeing in pickleball on the single side is we're seeing players utilize the soft shot in the kitchen more than we ever have. You know who's probably the best at it, in my Seven, opinion? Is Ben Johns. And he's really changed the landscape 
of singles. Nope. Tyson I think we're going to go out by McGuffin here. Yep, there you go. Timeout, Tyson a McGuffin. Big momentum shift there. A big momentum shift. We're going to go quiet here. Eight, Cows. six. There you go. Eight, six. Nice deep serve. Excellent return. And... Oh. Kyle hitting that ball on the move. But did the you crowd, notice, Rusty, crowd's a little happy there. how Yates kept moving forward? Nine, Good things six. happen, folks, in pickleball when you move forward. Well, he's athletic enough to be able to hit the ball on the run. Bad things happen when you go backwards. He's going to get this. Cross court. Oh! oh! Kyle with a big fist pump. Kyle with a big fist pump. The crowd's going wild here. Folks, we are at the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships in Naples, Florida, and probably the most amazing open air arena for pickleball in the world. Tyson's called another timeout there. All right, we're back at the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Kyle Yates has made a dramatic turnaround. The score? Score, 10-6. 10-6. He's come back from being down 6-2. And it's out. And it's Boom. Two. We're going to three games, everybody. We're going to three games. Interesting, Rusty, that the player that has won has been the player that's been playing into the wind. That's really surprising to me. So we will be back shortly after a two-minute break, after the music stops. We are back, along with Rusty Howes from the Pickleball Channel. This is Dave, the Badger Wine zero, Dog, bringing zero. you live action here at the Minto U.S. Open Men's Pro Singles Match. We are about to start in game three. These players have split the first two games. They will play one more game to 11, and they will switch sides at six. Tyson will be serving into the wind. Yates will be playing downwind. And uh, as Dave pointed out previously, zero, zero. the player who's downwind <coughs> won each of the games. Both of them have changed their clothes. Oh, sorry, the opposite. Opposite. Surprisingly, the player Point. into the wind has well. won both games. So Kyle's wearing the salmon paddle tech, and Tyson has sort of the white with the black speckles on it. One zero. Perk. Okay, here we go. One zero. And McGuffin get a little greedy on a serve. He has a tendency to do that sometimes. His <laughs> philosophy is zero one. he thinks that having a very aggressive serve over the long haul is a lot more benefit than just trying to get it in. All right. Tyson on the defensive. This volley at the net. Oh my gosh. Soft. He's uh. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle got it with sort of around the back, but Tyson was there and he just put it away. And, and there's a great example of how we've seen the game of singles evolve. And we're seeing much more soft kitchen play, you had a, utilizing angles one to one person, set up the kill shot. You had a one person full court dink rally. Um, short return, I think it's gonna cost the ace here. Holy cow, did he catch that corner? There you go. Tyson Kyle was able to short jump return, up. And Tyson was able to really attack that ball and that set up the whole point for Tyson there. So folks that play singles out there, a real key in singles play is depth, both on the Two serve zero. and the return of serve. We want to get that ball in the back third of the court, minimum second half of the court. Switch 2-0. Oh, uh, terrific Tyson's coverage. Feet. Did he tweak his ankle there? No, no I think he just yep. uh, Little bit of a slip of the foot, foot in there, but I think he's okay. Yep, he's checking his sneakers. Somebody pointed out apparently we have a third shirt change. Zero, it is two. humid here in Florida, Naples, Florida. The way McGuffin slides his feet, Rusty, I think he's changing his shoes every game. She called it out. All right, who kidding. called he what out? change shoes every game. Yates questioning this uh, lines person's call here. Uh, the ref but agrees. It's, it's going to stick. So everybody, some people have asked, this is the men's pro Zero, singles two. gold match at the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. We're in the third game. Whoever wins this is gonna take gold. Side out. And a reminder, this is one final game up to 11. The players will switch sides as soon as one player gets the six points. Exactly, the score is two serving zero. Ga game number one, Tyson took the lead and he finished. Game number two, Tyson had the lead at one point. The score was 6-2. Kyle made a strong comeback and won the game. Uh, 
I think the difference maker in this game is going to be who can put more pressure on their opponent by hitting good, deep, penetrating return of serves. So let's keep an eye on that as this game unfolds. Oh. Behind the back. Oh. Excellent overhead. Tyson was guessing he was going to go cross yeah. court and he went down the he, line. Uh, he had his back to the net, got his paddle on it, got it over, but Kyle was able to reach up and put it away. And if you get the ball high against these two guys, they are both going to make Zero you two. pay. They have two of the best overheads in the entire game of pickleball. And there's the drop shot that we were talking about. Side out. See how Kyle dropped yep. it with his backhand? Mostly to Tyson's backhand he does it, and then he follows it in. Interesting play. And so as Dave's ben talking Jones about, folks, really well. the, the game of pickleball is evolving. It's becoming, singles in particular, all of it's becoming more athletic. It's becoming faster. Once upon a time in singles, it was just lots of ground strokes. And now they're doing hard, soft, up at the net. There you go, both players. Uh, oh, I guess so. out. wait a minute. Wide. I didn't see a call there. Kyle thought it was out. All right, we're seeing lots of people shaking their heads. He stopped playing, but I did not see the lines person make a call. I heard a verbal out. Zero two. The referee agreed that that ball was out. Score zero two. Side out. So we got a lot of side outs happening here. Not a lot of advance of the score. Number game number three. It's still kind of head to head. I think this is going to be an absolute thriller. Two zero. Now you gotta win. Now you gotta win. Tyson That's comes up. Wide. Yep. Side out. Zero two. Score zero, serving two. Point. That volley, that backhand volley was called out. Okay, so here we are. One, two. One serving two. Side out. Mm. Kyle, a little frustrated there, pulling that's, his hand out to go through that stroke again. That's a heavy ball that Tyson hits on that. That hard backhand cut is very effective in pickleball because when you hit that hard cut, the ball doesn't bounce up. The ball slides Two, into the player, and it's a real competitive advantage if you can hit that shot. And both these players do it extremely well. Oh, oh there you go. That's terrific hands. So Tyson with a pretty hard shot. Down the line, Kyle's able to get it, hit it cross court. Another great example of Kyle's hands. Not only are they the quickest, maybe in the entire game, but the accuracy One, and the consistency of it is a thing to watch. Just beautiful. And that ball's gonna sail wide. So this is gonna, gonna be a side so, out to McGuffin. Another side out, we have two side outs in a row, no points. We're back to Tyson McGuffin. Let's see if McGuffin we chooses one. to be a little more aggressive now, Rusty. I think he is going to go after this a little bit more. Point. Uh, he tried to really rip that return to Yates' backhand, and it, his backhand volley just Three one. a little long. So now that he's hitting into the wind, it looks like he's going with his harder, deeper serve. That's what I'm thinking. Kyle's uh, dropping really soft. Another soft. Going to go around the post. Oh. oh, we got it! Oh my gosh. We're still in it. Oh! Holy cow. One of the best points in this match. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. <laughs> we got some amazing athleticism here. We're at the Minto US Open Pickleball Championships. This is Rusty Howes, joined with Dave Weinbach. And we're going to a timeout, so we're going to pull the audio down. We'll be back soon. This is Rusty Howes from Pickleball Channel with Dave the Badger the Weinbach. And we are in game number three of the men's singles Pro gold match. Scores four, serving one. Oh, terrific cover by Kyle. Oh, that is such point. good stuff. McGuffin had to basically win that point three times yeah. because Kyle covers the court so well. And Ty's accuracy. Tyson's, you know, down the line, Kyle gets his hand on it. Down the line, Kyle gets his hand on it. And was able to get it just cross card enough that Kyle couldn't get it. Five, one. McGuffin serving into the wind. Yates that was a playing shorter down serve. Oh, he wants that volley back. Switch. Oh, they're going to switch sides. We're at 6 
one. McGuffin now will be serving downwind at 6-1 here in game three in the men's pro singles final here at the US Open in beautiful Naples, Florida. And we're excited to be here. Thanks for uh, Minto, Margaritaville, uh, Paddle Tech, Franklin, Pickleball Central, so many sponsors who make this possible. Um, Pickleball Channel is excited to be here. We had other matches that were streaming early in the day. We'll be trying to give you more stuff. Later on, CBS will be putting some stuff up live. And then CBS Sports will have a broadcast in May of multiple matches. So game number three, six, one. score is six serving one. Point. Mm. Yates trying to get aggressive into the wind, but he kept Seven, the ball one. low so the wind didn't hit it. The net. He's gonna get this. He got it deep. Uh, he just, oh. Point. Had a chance. Just tremendous pressure that Tyson is putting on Kyle, getting those volleys deep like that. All right, folks, we're back. We're in the middle of game number three. If you were watching earlier, the players have switched sides. Tyson is in white. Tyson McGuffin. Tyson, you have two timeouts remaining. Tyson McGuffin's in the white. Kyle Yates is in the sort of salmon shirt. Whoever wins Players this ready? is gonna take gold. Eight, one. The score is eight serving one. Point. That's a really nice cross court pass from Ty. Nine one. The score is nine one. Oh, and Yates staying back off a return of serve. Point. That really surprises me. So Kyle has no timeouts left. The score is 10. Tomorrow, tomorrow one. we're going to have to clear this all out. Okay. 10-1. We got game point right here. Match point. Match point. Side out. Serve was long. So Yates with a chance to make a move here at one. one ten. Local ten. crowd cheering him on. Kyle with a reach, got it over the net just close enough that Tyson couldn't clear it. So here's a chance again. Now, I'd say this is a monumental, but he came back from 2-6 last game. I've seen it happen many times, Rusty, in pickleball, where a team two or a ten. player comes back from 1 or 2-10. Momentum's a powerful there you thing. Go. Three. I think if Yates wins this point, I, wouldn't, I think Tyson's going to call a timeout. We'll see what happens. A lot of people don't know the timeout. Score 3 10. Kyle Yates serving Tyson McGuffin. Kyle tries to drive it. There you go. I think Yates is thinking to himself right now where was this 10 minutes ago? <laughs> Might be a little bit too little, too late, but he's going to give it everything he's got. 4-10. Scores 4, serving 10. Up, oh, Tyson just called his timeout. There you go, Dave, you were right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready. back from a timeout. Tyson just used his first timeout. Kyle Players is making ready. a comeback. 4-10. Now scores 4-10. Point. Drop shot. Oh! I agree. Side out. The ball was called out, Ooh. and the referee does agree. Yeah, a lot of people ooing. I thought it was in. I, I think Tyson people, thought it was out as well. 10-4, match point here in the men's pro singles. Gold match. There and that's go. it, that's gonna do it, Rusty. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. The gold goes to Tyson McGuffin, and the silver to Kyle Yates. Thank you for watching, Dave, thanks for being here. Enjoyed it.